but I am tipping the Giants in this game. Okay, and uh, Pete, your selection? Yeah, GWS. Very okay, hard. Okay, and uh, I'd like to say Essendon, but I don't think so. GWS. <laughs> okay, it's time now for this week's Indigenous legend. My name's Gavin Wanganeen. I'm a descendant of the Gugatha people, the far west coast of South Australia. I grew up in the northern suburbs of Adelaide, in a suburb called Salisbury, a bit like the Bronx, they say. Yeah, really proud to you know, say I come from that area. Played with the mighty Port Adelaide Magpies in my junior days, and then went over to play with the mighty Bombers for six years, and then back to my, my Port Adelaide football club in the power for 10 years. Uh, I have to pinch myself sometimes, so I was fortunate to win the Brownlow in 1993 along with the Premiership with the Baby Bombers and, and also a, a Premiership with the Port Adelaide Power. The first ever AFL Premiership in 2004, that was very, very special. Wanganeen from behind here has to spoil. Johnson took his time, Wanganeen will kick it over and the Power are on their way. There's a lot of uh, great footy bloodlines in, in my family. Uh, on my mum's side, there's a mission over that way called Coonabra Mission, the oldest surviving Aboriginal football team in Australia. I sort of was pretty much born into a footy family, so my mum's brothers played footy, they were all male medalists in their communities. There was always a, a footy around, the cousins were kicking the footy. We learnt our trade, it was in the backyard against the bigger, stronger, older cousins. They made us earn it. And that's where we learn our skills, in, in the backyard. My story's a... Uh, I suppose it's fair to say it's a, quite a unique one, uh, being a professional footballer for a lot of years and now turning my hand into, you know, painting. Fortunate enough to, to be asked by the AFL marketing team to see if I would, I'd be interested in designing uh, the ball for an Indigenous round. My design was about the importance of AFL clubs as they are future homes. So on the football itself, there are 18 circles which represent each of the AFL clubs and I wanted them to be recognised on the night because they're so important to young Indigenous kids as future homes. When I was a young fella, I think I was, I reckon I might have been 14 years of age and my older cousin who was two years older than me, he was 16. And we were at the local footy oval and it was after dark and we'd gone over to the oval just to muck around and he lit up a smoke and I didn't know and he offered me a draw. And I was quite shocked and I said, oh, no, no brother, no, I don't touch that. I, I play footy, I've got to keep fit. To be a successful sportsman, you have to keep your body healthy. So I just knew that tobacco and smoking would have done me a lot of harm. Unfortunately, my cousin, uh, who was 16 at that, at, at that age, he's still smoking today. Every time I see him, you see him coughing and spluttering, and it's all because of the cigarettes. So thank goodness I didn't take that up. So please, don't make smokes your story. Don't Make Smokes Your Story, broadcast partners of the Mangrook Footy Show.